You've already seen Haft's Formula off-road buggy in action. But now it's time to see how it's prepared for such extreme driving. Iceland has a reputation for producing the best off-road machines on the planet. Haft's workshop will give me a glimpse into how a champion's buggy is built. But within minutes of arriving, I notice something crucial is missing. Mate, we've got a problem. Come on. We've got, we've got a problem. I've had a look around your race shop and uh, I can't see a kettle. You can't build cars without tea and coffee. Mm. We just drink milk. So. <laughs> just drink milk. <laughs> to show me just how strong his buggy needs to be, Half sits me down to watch a little video. This is you. Oh. Yeah. Oh. That looks like it's going to hurt. Mm -hmm. Should we have some more milk? Unbelievably, after rolling five times down a 120-foot slope, Half's buggy was intact. It's the roll cage that makes it so strong. So, what I want to talk about, Half, is this, is this cage. I mean, this is... It's obviously got to be quite trick. I mean, is this a special material? Or... Uh, this is made of 48mm uh, seamless steel. Right. And the roll case are supposed to handle uh, six times the weight of the car. Oh, what, by regulation? Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. So this is epically strong. Yeah. Right, that is handy to know. Bear in mind, I might be going on my roof. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. While safety comes first, speed is a close second. The throbbing heart of every Formula off-road buggy is its Chevrolet V8 engine, a simple, tough motor from America. It's, it's a race engine, isn't it? Yeah, it's it a, is. It's a race tune engine. Yeah. So, now, bearing in mind you're going up steep hills, almost vertical for a lot of the time, has there been any special mods on this to, for it to cope with that? Because I would have thought the oil would go to the back and you get all sorts of dramas, no? Yeah, we have a special oil pan. Right. A bigger one, and it prevents the oil to... Ah, uh, right, it's baffled and stuff. Yeah. And then we do a modification on the carburetor. Yeah. So it keep running all the time, but it's easy to... Easy to work on, maintain. Yeah. No, no computers at all, just standard. Yeah, just simple. The 600-odd horsepower of the motor would be useless if the car ran on normal tyres. So these are obviously the tricky tyres. These aren't your race tyres. These are like practice tyres, is that right? Yeah. So where do these come from? Those are made in the United States. Right. And they are made for dune buggies. For, for being on sand? Yeah. Right, OK. That looks like a bit of a drag racing tyre. Yeah, it is. Uh, this paddles have been welded on it. Much more grip in this one. And what, and what does one of those cost? Expensive, I would think, yeah? £800. A lot of money, then. Yeah. Right, OK. And, what, and, and what's that called there? The tyre is a super scooper. A super scooper. Mm. OK. And can you get different sized scoops? Yeah, it's, uh, you can have a... It's called bigger digger. Then you have those scoops all the way. A bigger digger goes across, right across yeah. versus a super scooper, yeah. which only goes halfway. <laughs> yeah. We like the names. The names are cool. Later, I'll put my face in the machinery when it's my turn behind the wheel. Hopefully, Half's team will pack some bravery pills as well as the bigger diggers and super scoopers. Christ almighty, I'm not sure about this. OK, here we go. We're going to give it the big one up this one. Some of the most awe-inspiring machines in motorsport. It's as powerful as a modern-day F1 car. It'll drive across pretty much anything that you point it at. And it lives in the building right behind me. You've... 